it sounds absolutely awful. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, or as always, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Today is going to be an ultimate video. Now, in this box, I have brake rotors, brake pads for the rears, because, and if you can see in here, but those deep grooves, yeah, those rotors and pads are garbage. I noticed driving the other day, hit the brakes, worst grinding sound I've ever heard in my life, brake pads bad, didn't pay attention to them, all the way down to the metal, dug into the rotor. That's why you always gotta pay attention to your stuff. But I'm gonna replace those today, kinda run you through all that. But mainly, I kinda wanna show you guys how the e-brake works on this car. It's basically like you have the rotor on the back, but then inside is a drum. And that inside drum is what the e-brake is. So say you need to replace your e-brake, mine's still fine, so I'm not gonna mess with it. But say you need to replace your e-brake, I'll kinda show you what you need to do to do that. I'm not gonna be replacing mine but I can open this up, show you guys what it looks like in there so you know what you're getting into. So this shouldn't take too long. It's a brake rotor pad swap, maybe 45 minutes, something like that. But I'm gonna get started and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Okay, so as you can see, I got the wheel off. The next thing you're going to want to do is come here, pop your hood, go to your brake reservoir, just go ahead and unscrew that top because you're going to be compressing your caliper down there and if that cap there it could blow it off and then you have to buy a new cap, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and take this caliper off but first I'm going to kind of show you the extent of the damage I got going on here. So pits it sounds absolutely awful and yeah, as you can see pretty much metal on metal so I'm really hoping a lot of the times if you let your brakes get this bad it can actually cause damage to the caliper itself so I'm actually really really hoping I caught this before I overextended the piston if it compresses fine and the boot looks good I think I'm in the clear hopefully we're all good so all you got to do really to get even this whole thing off is just just two bolts which is this one up here you can take these ones off but you got to take this bracket off anyway since you're removing the rotor if you're not you can get away with getting this bolt loosening up this one and then this thing can just slide out of the way slide your brake pads out put them back in slide it back up real quick and simple but since i'm replacing the rotor i'm gonna have to take off this bracket so i'm just gonna take off the bracket entirely and then compress my caliper that way, pull the pads out because it's basically the same thing. So you got your bolt up here and there's going to be another one down here in the same exact spot. So let me get zipping that off real quick. Okay guys, so I think I got lucky. The cylinder retracted just fine. It looks, the boot looks fine. Sprayed it down with some brake clean. Had a little bit of crusties in it, but all oh, that's good. And yes, you can take the pads out and all this stuff with the bracket and caliper together. And I need to get the little hardware out because my new brake pads came with new hardware, but I'll show you how to do that. Now, this is my old rotor. As you can see, that top one is just gashed. The back doesn't look terrible, but still, it's probably good they're getting replaced. And then this is what I'm talking about. So here's obviously your bearing. And I'm going to spray all this down with brake clean because it's a little old in here, but... You can see my shoes are still, still got a lot of life left on them. And so that's why I'm not replacing mine. You got your little adjuster sleeve in here. This is the same as like any kind of brake drums. So like if you have an old car that's got just drums, the circle, this is the exact same thing. If you know how to replace those, you can replace this. So the only difference is this, I don't think it's a wheel cylinder. How you have the hydraulic wheel cylinders and normal ones. I think this one's just like cable driven. So it's probably somewhere up here, up here, kind of shoves those out. So if you ever need to replace these, it's basically the same exact thing as regular drums. 
so just keep that in mind and then yeah so we'll get to cleaning all this up getting it all nice and neat and then start plopping the new stuff back on so here is my new one mind you you do need to get some brake clean spray it on this wipe it down really really good because it comes with a coating from the manufacturer to where it doesn't rust while it's on the shelves so if you put that on with your brakes you won't get good enough friction to I mean you'll stop but it won't be good enough it'll wear it all out faster all that good stuff so just grab some brake clean I think this can at O'Reilly's is like four bucks so it's definitely worth it spray it down wipe it down real good and then and get to putting her on get your new brake pads on and you're good to go so just for comparison got that old nasty worn out one in with new goodness nice and thick so let's get to it So there's the new one. It's a lot better than the old one. As you can see, I got a little bit of anti-seize on the hub. I got it on the inside of there so it doesn't stick. If I ever need to do this again, you always want to put a little bit on these little slider pins. And then you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead, put the wheel back on this side, then get that other side wrapped up. And I'll do that off camera since I already did this side but I'll show you guys the old parts and then yeah, I'll probably wrap up this video. So I'm gonna get to that. And the next time you'll see me, I'll be showing you guys stuff I took off. All right guys, so car's done, wheels on, everything wrapped up. I'm gonna go check the brake fluid, top that off if need be. And then that whole thing's done. These are all the old nasty parts I pulled off. That rotor doesn't look terrible, but you're replacing one, you might as well go ahead and replace the other. And the kit that I bought came with both, so. You gotta, with these ones, since it's the drum in the back, you do gotta tap on it with a hammer and get it off. Can't remember if I showed that, but just be careful not to hit the studs and a few taps around it with the hammer, get it good to go. These are all my old nasty pads. Those rusty gross clips, but. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up this video. Uh, I'll show you real quick. Just the new, yeah, I know my rims are real dirty. I need to wash this thing. I haven't washed it in a while, but it looks a whole lot better in there than those old crusty, nasty brakes. So that's a win. About to take it out. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Brand new rotors, brand new pads. Should be no issues. That's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more stuff like this. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, Hit me up in the comments. I'll answer them to the best of my knowledge. Again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time.